I was born in a middle class family, but I always felt myself as lucky. I had a mother who answered my all questions and framed my thoughts. On 26 January every year, I used to go into the stadium, watch parade, flag hosting, and jhaki. This all never failed to raise my goosebumps and instill a sense of pride in, my, in me for my country. During my childhood, I was surrounded by books and pictures of our great leaders, and I used to ask a lot of questions about them, and my mother used to tell me stories about them. When I came to teenage, I met their ideology. A lot of them had contrasting ideas, opinions, religion, and background but had a great vision for India which smashed all the barriers. And now I'm in my late teens when I came a bit more closer to them. Recently, I read a chapter in my history book, Framing the Constitution. In that lesson, it is shown how, through various public debates and discussion, the Constitution came into existence. There were about 300 members with yet and different ideologies but but was were wonderful that they were treated that they always treated each other with respect. Today it's our responsibility to uphold their vision for India, using the constitution as a weapon for good. As the father of constitution himself said, however good a constitution may be, if those who are implementing it are not good, it will prove to be a bad. However bad a constitution may be. If those who are implementing are good, it will be proved to be a good. With these words, I will, I will conclude my speech and wish you again a very happy Republic Day. Thank you. Very good. Very good.